So welcome to a live Friday. However, we're doing this one day earlier on a Thursday. And for some who are watching live, it might even be Wednesday where you are in the world. <laughs> true. So we have had lots of questions in the group this week and, and lots today. So we're really excited. We've chosen two questions that we're going to answer um, but yeah, keep those questions coming and thanks to all of the amazing VAs in there supporting each other and answering the questions and, and helping. That's what we built the group for. Um, so that's really great to see. So thank you so much. It is. It's really cool to see. Right. We're going to kick off. We're going to start with Simone's question. Um, Simone posted, hi, everyone. My business is almost one year old. But until today, I still don't have a niche and I feel like it's a huge block in the road for me. With no niche, there are no clients. Without a doubt, having a niche is a great way to stand out from other virtual assistants and to get clients. Absolutely, it's it's a great step. However, it doesn't stop you from getting clients altogether. So in my agency, we have never niched and I highly recommend that everyone does. However, I've it wasn't on my radar when I first started and we've just carried on and built our team and grow on it to now cover lots of different services. And so we try and sort of target three key areas to try and reduce the number of services that we're really promoting. Um, and we do it that way. So we have three key service areas uh, and we still get clients, lots of clients, lots of leads and can grow an agency like that. However, um, I think, well, we've talked about this a lot and mm. Sam, you'll agree. And I love your example of how you've niched and how that's changed your business. Yeah. So, I mean, I have only niched relatively uh, recently. So it took me about five years, four and a half years to decide on my niche and decide, yes, this is going to be it. This is what I'm going to concentrate on. So up until then, that first four and a half years, I was absolutely flat tack, fully booked with a wait list um, when I was had no niche. I was just offering general administrative services. Um, since niching, uh, my business has grown. Uh, my messaging is super clear. Everybody knows exactly who to go to for the service that I offer. Um, so absolutely, as, as much as we highly recommend niching in terms of growing your business and increasing your profitability, um, don't let not having a niche stop you from putting yourself out there and, and getting the clients because mm. it shouldn't be a roadblock at all. Yeah, absolutely. And there'll be there'll be things that you've now figured out, um, Simone, from from what you have delivered previously, or you might have a few clients and, um, you know, you might have done some project work before, like figure out what is it that you've really loved doing mm -hmm. and just choose something to niche in. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be that whatever you choose is, you know, something that you can't change later down the track. We yeah. talk about this a lot too, that it's your business. You can change. If it doesn't work out, you can change to something else. So what niching does is it makes your messaging so clear that it's really obvious to those looking for someone to provide those services, makes it really obvious that you're the go-to person for that. So that's definitely why it works and how it works. Um, and so, yeah, choose something and know that it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be what you choose forever and you can't change it yeah that that's it that is the absolute joy about the virtual assistant industry in my mind anyway mm. is it is the ultimate in freedom and flexibility and that includes the services you offer what you offer today doesn't mean that you have to be offering it in six months a year even five years down the track um mm. you just do what makes you happy yeah, what lights you on fire? Like what what do you like? Oh yeah, I'd love to do that all day every day. Like what is it? What is it that 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 you absolutely love and would love to do day in day out? Choose mm -hmm. that. We all have that. We just need to stop and think and and figure that out. Yeah. And you know, sometimes it takes a while to figure that out, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it took me four and a half years. It takes other people a little less. Some people are really organized coming in and they know exactly what it is that they're going to offer. And great. Everyone does it different ways. Mm -hmm. Don't don't put too much pressure on yourself. I think mm -hmm. it's really important that you're not letting this decision freeze you from mm -hmm. moving forward in your business. Yeah, absolutely. Great advice. 